Hey guys, Jib here, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. And today is going to be an interesting one. We're going to be talking about Treyarch overall and their priorities in regards to Black Ops 4. So for those of you who've been watching my streams and my channel, you can obviously tell that I'm a huge critic of Black Ops 4. And my opinion is it's one of the worst games to be released in the Call of Duty franchise and one of the worst supported Call of Duty games. That is my opinion. I know some people really enjoy the game, some people are meh, some people don't care, and some people really hate it. But my opinion is I'm not a fan of it whatsoever, and essentially Blackout is the only thing that's keeping me playing it. But in the beginning, I was making the argument that Treyarch was neglecting every single community within Black Ops 4 evenly. Like, no community was getting more support than another. But now I'm finally starting to see it, as Blackout has definitely become the priority. So Zombies was getting gauntlets and they'd get a map here and there. And then Multiplayer has had two map pack DLCs and some guns added. Guns we've already had in a previous Black Ops game being Black Ops 2. There might be guns coming out soon that aren't guns we've had before. But we don't know until they're released and how they feel. And Blackout has gotten... One point of interest back in January, and now another point of interest, I would make the argument that Ghost Town is an overhaul. So the change to the full blackout map, minus colors, I would have said was two blocks on the grid worth of changes. Not a huge amount, definitely not enough to really change the flow of the game. It still kind of feels the same, now there's just more areas to get loot. But it is getting more and more obvious now that it is in fact Blackout is taking that priority for Treyarch in regards to Black Ops 4, which is going to end up hurting the multiplayer and zombies community more and more, especially whenever the next Call of Duty is going to be announced. It's really going to start showing that they just don't care. And Modern Warfare 4's announcement should be around the corner. But Blackout, I think, is getting priority because most likely when Modern Warfare 4 is announced and it finally does release... They have said that Modern Warfare 4 is not going to have Specialist and it's not going to have uh, a Battle Royale, but it will have a campaign, uh, co-op mode, and multiplayer. So I'm assuming that what Treyarch is going to do, because they kept talking about this multi-year plan or maybe supporting this game for years to come, what's going to happen is most likely Blackout will be that part of Black Ops 4 that will be supported for years to come. Now they might do more stuff with Zombies, I don't expect to see much more coming out of the multiplayer past year one in the first season past, to be honest, when it comes to Black Ops 4. I haven't played the multiplayer since January 3rd of 2019, simply because I am tired of specialists and I don't want to deal with them. They said that there is a bare bones mode coming to Black Ops 4, but they didn't give us a date and we really don't know when that's going to be. When they do drop it, I'm going to give it a chance because I want it to feel more like a traditional Black Ops games. It'll have no 3D movement and have no specialists. Hopefully it'll feel like Black Ops 1 and 2. But until they do that, I'm stuck here in Blackout. But they've got everything set up to essentially be like a Fortnite with both the store being set up with skins and gun camos and mastercrafts. They have it perfectly set up. That way when MW4 drops, Blackout could easily go free to play and not much would have to change. And if they do that, I don't know if that's gonna help or hurt Modern Warfare 4, because usually Activision doesn't like messing with the new game. They want it to be left alone, and that's why I wanna assume why we didn't get Modern Warfare 2 remastered with multiplayer last April when World War II was suffering, and we haven't gotten it uh, this year, and I'm assuming we're not gonna get it unless it comes pre-packaged with Modern Warfare. Four. Now, we did get MWR with Infinite Warfare, but I'm assuming that is just because they were expecting Infinite Warfare to do so bad because everybody was tired of 3D movement that they gave it to us. But that held the game over for a little bit. But it's obvious that Blackout is getting the main focus, and I think moving forward, um, there's, that is going to be that priority. And I will even say this, though. If Blackout is the main focus and the priority, I kind of feel like it's still way too little action happening with the map. If we take a look at Fortnite, they overhaul the map consistently. If they look at PUBG, they have multiple maps. Apex just came out, so we really can't use it as a judging of it. And then we've got Firestorm coming out here soon with Battlefield 5. So the market for Battle Royale is already extremely saturated. So I don't know if taking Blackout free to play will even do extremely well for them, except for the people who can't afford 
that many games per year, those people will always be able to fall back on the free-to-play games and having something, you know, like Apex, Fortnite, or just because they love Call of Duty, they can play its Blackout BR in free mode. That is something they can do. But it is kind of sad because for them having such a AAA massive priority and pushing so much effort towards Blackout, it really doesn't feel like overall we got much. And they did change the lighting. The way the map looks in the game right now for this event, in my opinion, should have been the way the map should have looked at launch. I really do enjoy the colors, the vibrance. The only problem I have is where the sun's positioned and the brightness. Sometimes you can't look at certain areas or get a good judgment just because it's throwing the lighting off. But the map itself looks good now. I just wish that they would change different point of interest more often just to give the game a different feel. I'd like to see a third of the map just changed by the next event they do, but that's just how I see it. But it's unfortunate because I used to be purely a multiplayer guy and then when Advanced Warfare and all these other games following after it, Infinite Warfare, I kind of stopped playing multiplayer COD and I would shift to other games. If you've been around the channel long enough, I've streamed Counter-Strike, I've streamed PUBG, I did a lot of Fortnite, like I was bouncing around just because the multiplayer wasn't uh, my cup of tea. Still isn't because of Specialist, but maybe with Bare Bones it will be good and it will draw me back in. But they're just not getting enough support, and I feel bad for the Zombies community as well because it just seems like we were hyped up about all this stuff we were getting, and in my opinion, I don't care about the Chaos storyline. And I know some people in the Zombies community don't care either. We only really care about the Aether. And well, the last Chaos Story map is coming out here soon. And then supposedly it's nothing but Aether till the end of the Season 1. I don't know if that's three or four more maps. I'll have to go back and look. But I don't know. It seems like, for the most part, people are fizzling out. Because there's a lot of people who just don't like Battle Royale, period. And they only play Black Ops 4 for the multiplayer and for the Zombies. And... With their modes not getting any focus, it's kind of disappointing. And now that Modern Warfare Remastered went free to play on PlayStation, I'm curious where most of the people have ended up. For those of you who hate Blackout, are you still playing multiplayer and zombies? Are you playing older Call of Duties? Have you shifted to Apex? I would like to know where you sit right now. And did you move just because you are bored? Or you hate the game? Or the lack of content? What is the reason why, if you have shifted away to other games, why have you done so? I would really like to know. But until then, Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.